All right, come on in, hit the like button, think about subscribing if you're ready. If you're new here, welcome to the channel, but most importantly, welcome to the Viking family. So this is my personal opinion slash review for the 2023 miniseries called The Continental. From the John Rook world, but before John Wick, a Peacock streaming app original. Now here's the plot. The Continental explores the origin behind the iconic hotel for assassins centerpiece of the John Wick universe through the eyes of and actions of young Winston Scott as he dragged uh, into the hellscape of the 1970s New York City to face a past he had thought he left behind. When Winston charts a deadly course through the hotel, mysterious underworld in a harrowing attempt to seize the hotel where he will eventually take his throne. Now here is some of the cast. So each episode is pretty long, and there are only three episodes that was put out weekly, unfortunately. Uh, with, le with length of the hour and a half, uh, the last episode is an hour and 37 minutes, so I don't know what the first one is. It's like an hour and 35, I think, or something. For me, it started to get a little draggy because of the length. For that... For what this was and what we got, I was starting to burn out after the second episode. Well, more like the first episode, uh, if anything. Um, this this felt different than a John Wick film, like its own thing, while keeping the choreography and camera shooting along with the booming, powerful score. And of course, the story connecting to the criminal world that we know. There actually was more story than the four films. I very much appreciate the filling of some plot holes, even though they pretty much added more plot holes. Uh, the acting was fantastic and more uh, most character writing was great. However, I, I did not like Mel Gibson. I liked him at the beginning and then he started getting kind of comical and overdone with his acting and character wise. I definitely found a couple of other characters writing a wardrobe to be a, to a ridiculous throughout, and I'll put them right there. They're called the twins for some uh, for some reason. Um, the third episode for me was way too long, like John Wick Four, but it wasn't even the, the the only issue. The main issue, I mean. I mostly found the com comical aspect over everything to be off-putting compared to the first half of the series. The other way, the way they went with Winston made sense uh, at first, but I was never a big fan of the character even in the films, and definitely felt the same by the end. I liked the actor in the films. This one, I, I couldn't really get into him. It's kind of a little bit more or less care about him in this. But, you know, it, it still had a good writing, good acting, but, you know, it's just I'm not really familiar with the guy, so, in general, uh, compared to the one that's in the film the fear uh in the films but again either way the character in general i wasn't a big fan of compared to others however my biggest issue with this is how it ended to the point i think i've been thinking about making a short rant video about it i'll finish this series last night i finished the series last night and it still bugs me but here's my rating i'll come back to my final thoughts As much as fun as this was, I personally think second half of the second episode and all of the third episode could have been written better. I liked the first episode. In my opinion, it went completely downhill after the first episode. Honestly, it would have made more sense to make a series around the backstory of John Wick than this, than his friend, a.k.a. the head of the hotel. I mean, I get it. We need a little more explanation, but it. I think most people want a what didn't know about John Wick's mysterious past and how he met his wife and all that. Uh, but what are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments below. So that's all I have for you today other than possibly a rant video that's going to be short. It's going to come out today, hopefully, um, if I do it. Um, but other than that, remember, I love you all. Please stay safe. Spread the love. Most importantly, Skull.